The Chunga landfill, where we are at the moment, is the only licensed and registered uh, disposal site in the city of Lusaka. We have a new system which has been designed to be a sustainable and integrated waste management system, combining the activities of the municipality as well as the activities of the private sector and the informal sector. What happens is, when it comes to the formal settlements, the private sector who have been awarded franchise contracts organize the collection, transportation and transport the waste here for final disposal. On the other hand, when it comes to the peri-urban areas or informal settlements, we have community-based enterprises, community-based structures who basically are organized to operate in primary collection alone. Our waste collection is done on a daily basis, collecting waste from households door to door. We are charging 15,000 kwacha per household. And on average per month, we come to about 6 million. But during the rain season, we go higher because everybody demands the waste to be collected from a household. We order a souvenir, we order a CV, since of no tie tie. We are working hand in hand with the local authority due to the containers are provided by the Lusaka City Council. When we started, it wasn't as big as it has become now. At that time, we were charging 5,000 kwacha. But as at now, we have raised it to 15,000 kwacha per each household. Whereby, I look at it to say, if only people could change their mindset, we would grow more as we continue educating the people. Definitely, this it's uh, something that would grow bigger than what we are what we are now the system that we are employing at the moment has brought up a lot of change waste management can be an economic business to, to, to be involved in we have uh, 70 community-based enterprises that are operating and they are employing an average of uh, eight to ten people that's over 800 jobs created through the system Generally what you see when you get to the site in terms of material recovery is that there is a pretty organized economic chain system in that you find people who actually pick up and recover the materials from the tipping face. Then, manji, after that, mamoto kaka mobwela, kuma pesika tita modoba kuma manji ma scrap me tu, ma plastic, tu ingi sakuri ya wane wa ingi rap. Ah, kapena nda se mwushi business, ma kumbuka kuna ka 45 so. So I'm going to be on gala mumu. Now I'm going to my plastic in the vetidira. When my job, ah, ni my job ani endo kuli sa. Tinga ligo na drum. Kang unja vinti unja vinti andi sa singa visiiri. So ngang ati dinole me ngang ati natuka. These heaps of bags and sacks that you find there, these are plastics, scrap metal, and paper that have been recovered, onward for sale. Some of them go direct to the recyclers, others are gathered for intermediary sale to the waste collectors. Bottles to my order, then you could imagine that my pereka go back breweries. Then you take one to my order, I'm going to 500, then reselling could be 800 per bottle. I'm going to say, then I'm going to say, then I'm going to say, we basically are receiving in the range of 250 to 300 tons on a daily basis. And that cut us to in the range of 45% of the total amount that is generated. Out of the total amount, we have approximately 10% that is diverted to recycling. 
most of the remainder of the West is normally buried in the backyard pits or set on fire or indiscriminately disposed of in various parts of the city. At this company, we currently recycle plastic products. We buy scrap off the streets. People bring it in from various places, the street, the dumps of Lusaka, anywhere, all throughout Zambia. We bring it in, we separate the plastics, we sort them out. The main processes we have is the washing line. We wash them, we dry them, until they come out, then we extrude them. They come out as pellets, which we sell back to manufacturers. What we've seen at the moment is that because of the system that has been brought up, the number of people that have been subscribing to waste management services has been increasing. Generally, before the implementation of the system, less than 20% of the people were actually using the waste management services. Now, after the implementation, we get in the range of 40 to 50% in certain areas actually using the system. On a daily basis, we get people now coming to the municipality requesting for waste management services to be provided. And this is done by either the private sector, the municipality, or community-based enterprises. And interestingly, in the peri-urban areas, we get a lot more people as well asking for waste management services to be provided. And because of this, the debate on the role of the municipality and the private sector and also the residents as waste generators has seen an increased attention.